alcohol kills 99.99% of the germs, that says something good about me. That tells you something about me. Did I ever tell you that instead of taking Viagra, you should just walk around with miracle Grow in your pocket? <laughs> You'll be fine. If that don't work, try Peter's Grow. <laughs> if that ain't happening, then you're S-O-L. And if you don't know what that means, you shit out of luck. Without a fuck. Ha! Folks, I know y'all can barely see me. Uh, I'm just sitting in here, you know, I'm laying down actually, uh, ending my evening, you know, was watching TV. And I'm just thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, as I always do, as I'm drinking. And um, actually, I've ended my drinking, but I'm still thinking. And I'm a. Uh, I'm realizing that, you know, I mean, I ain't just now realizing it, but I think that it's something that I should let everybody know that um, when you have been doing what I've been doing as long as I've been doing it, uh, referring to uh, drugs and alcohol, um, let's just say substance abuse, and at the point in time as we are here today, it's only alcohol because I've overcome a lot of uh, obstacles in my life and um, but um, from the age of uh, 12 or maybe 10 years old until 46 years old it's been a long road and at this point in my life I kind of need substance to be creative or to uh, get my mind um, to get into to get to get I mean to get thinking I mean without it without substance whether it be drugs or alcohol at this point in my life it's alcohol um, without it it's kind of like difficult to think and uh, be creative um, but I've been I've been doing uh, a lot of uh, preventative projects that keep me from drinking lately. You saw uh, in my previous videos where I did my Christmas lights. That took quite a bit of time, and it was meticulous or whatever you want to call it. I did not drink one bit while I did that. Only waited until after I was done. And uh, you're going to be seeing. Or you may have already seen a video where I um, modified the toucan can opener. That took quite a while to do. And that was another one of the projects that I created for myself to um, s sustain from uh, drinking so early. Um, when I you know, am get done with my morning chores and the things that I do daily every day I usually start drinking and sometimes it's 9 30 or maybe 10 o'clock in the morning but I'm creating these things these extra things and uh, I'm video recording them for y'all and I'm not drinking while I'm doing them and they're kind of like helping me sustain a little bit longer so I don't drink as much so what I do is I create some kind of a little thing that I want to do like I want to modify the, the toucan can opener and uh, I tell myself I can't I can't have a drink until this project is done so I have to finish that I have to record that and document that and uh, I can't have a drink until that's done so uh, it seems to be working pretty well for me to uh, create these projects because I'm interested in doing things and uh, I'm, I'm a pretty creative guy and I'm very intelligent when it comes to electronics and different kind of stuff like that. And even design and, you know, like the lights. I like that kind of stuff. Um, I've got an OCD and I'm HDD with OCD. And I've told you this about my PPP and my OPP or whatever. I don't know about that. But what's a PPP? I got an OPP. OPP. I don't know about a PPP. Anyhow, you know what I mean. 
Um, <laughs> I'm trying, folks. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing what I need to do. I've been to freaking rehab. All right, before, long time ago, twenty-eight thousand. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure how much it cost, but it was a lot of money. I ain't got that kind of money. Okay, I don't need to go to rehab because that does not help. That does not do a damn thing. They give you the tools and they, they put you in the right frame of mind, but you ain't going to quit unless you want to. All right? I don't want to quit. I just want to maintain. I need to slow down, so that's what I'm doing. I'm creating, I'm creating projects for myself. I'm creating obstacles. I'm creating obstacles that help slow me down. That's all I'm doing. I'm putting bumps in the road. And that's a good thing. I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy my life. But I want to prolong it a little bit longer. Um, 46 years old, and I think I'm uh, I'm probably halfway through. I got another half of my life to go. Wow. Could you imagine that? I'm only, I mean, I'm, ha I'm only halfway there, man. You know, there's still a lot of freaking good times to go. So, that being said, uh, take my advice and take care of yourself don't do like i've done because i may die before my next 50% is uh you know expired i could i could freaking die of liver cancer in the next who knows i mean i don't have liver cancer or anything else but the way i have not taken care of my body and myself I am very, very, very uh, susceptible to anything. I don't smoke anymore. I quit smoking a long, long, long time ago. So, I'm, uh, you know, I did good on that one. Wow. You see how the TV changes? It fucks with me. You can't hardly see me. Anyway, this is just one to be, uh, maybe this will be, I'm going to shut the frick up and I'm going to call this Conversation from Bed, Episode 1. I don't know if I'll ever do another one or not, but... Uh, it's just, it's kind of weird, you know, it's, it's really kind of weird. Um, not even really in a bed, I'm, I'm on a couch in my freaking office or my computer room. I call it my, my media room where I make all my videos and stuff because this is where I spend most of my time and I just freaking, you know, I get tired and I just lay my head down. I don't even go and, I mean, I just stay here, you know, I stay here. This is where I'm where, where I feel most comfortable, even though it is raining outside and, uh, I really like to lay naked in the rain. It's kind of cold, so that wouldn't make for a good video. Um, this is a pretty serious, this has been a serious video. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to do good, folks, and I appreciate peace. I appreciate all y'all's kind comments and even your uh, constructive criticism telling me that I'm drinking too much. I already know all that, okay? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, and... Uh, I'm doing what I need to do to try to get it under control and slow down and put a curve in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to put a curve in it. Yeah. My first DUI came on a curve. I didn't make it quite make it, and I went off the curve and got stuck in the sand. You know? Yeah. So, long story short, two DUIs. Five years without a driver's license. Long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. Never do it again. Do not drink and drive, folks. If you're going to drink, dive. Hit the fucking pillow. Drink and dive. Hit the fucking pillow. Drink and go to sleep. Do not drive. Stay alive. As I'm almost passing out, I just now thought I should add to the video that uh, what I'm doing is working because today, so far, I've only had two uh, blue cups instead of four. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a pretty much a 50% production or reduction. It's a production. I'm 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 doing a production about my reduction. Don't you like that shit? I love that. The way I come up with that shit. That's awesome. But I'm drinking as I'm coming up with it. And, you know, the thing about it is, the drinking is, is what makes my mind do its thinking. And without the drinking, I'm stinking. 